Welcome to WebStyle Press. Can we use background image for text in CSS? Of course we can. Let's do it. This is text inside heading with some line breaks. And this is our CSS. So for font family, make sure you use some prominent font family that is bold. Margin zero because this was H1. These are generic styles. And then font weight. Font weight, font weight, font weight. Should be bold. Or maybe 900 to make it really bold. And then I want display inline block. Font size. 250 px and then line height should be 1 this is our text we will use background image for this text so background or background image we can use background and we will use linear linear gradient transparent transparent and transparent and then we can use URL for our image I am using this image from unsplash and this is the URL and this is background image so we have to use background size as cover and then we have to use two important properties that are needed in this scenario background clip this should be text and then color for the text should be transparent and as you can see background image for the text has been applied here and if I use, if I don't use this linear gradient transparent, transparent, then what will happen? Then it will be applied without any issue. But with linear gradient, what I can do, I can use like uh, purple and pink. And as you can see now, instead of background image, we have got background gradient color for this text but we can modify that like we can use rgba value here for this color instead full color we can use uh, some kind of opacity you can do that in uh, you know scss or sas RGB and function just mention the color and then use alpha value here similar for pink RGB and then next to pink will be alpha value and now you can see we have got the gradient line we have got the gradient color as well and also we have got background image Let's use uh, blue and green. Yes, yeah, so okay, so let's make it lighter. So this is how you can use background color gradients, multicolor gradients uh, for the text, or you can use image, or you can use both. But I want to show. Uh, one thing here that I am using SAS and if we see compiled CSS code we will see some prefixes here that may be needed may be important this one webkit background clip for this background clip this prefix is uh, needed if you use CSS only and you see here the here you see the values for the colors I used these two colors you see uh, RGB values here and then this is alpha value here you uncompiled SAS code 
So yeah, this is the thing and these two are very important. So use this technique to enhance your UI interfaces. I hope you liked this video. Okay, like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.